Hello, my name is Phil Smith and welcome to this very special edition of the UCD Festival. This year our event is called UCD Festival at Home for obvious reasons, but it represents a fantastic opportunity for the global community to virtually come home to where it all began. So if you're an alumni, a student, a future student, or just an interested soul, join me on this journey behind the lab door where we'll take a look at what happens in UCD science and engineering and get to meet some of the people and some of the research that's having such a big impact on the world. This is the engineering building in UCD, where engineering happens in UCD. It used to be based in Ellsford Terrace in Dublin city centre, which is actually where my dad studied civil engineering, but he can be a bit uncivil at times. I'm only joking, he's lovely. Uh, this building now is all where all of the engineering happens. You have electrical engineering, you have mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering, but it, the real nature of it is that it's interdisciplinary and it links with nearly every other school on campus, like business and engineering, you look at sustainability, so many others. Engineering also sits underneath the College of Engineering and Architecture, so even the construction and the design of buildings is linked into all of this. We're going to take a, a little bit of a look at some of the projects and some of the people that are working at UCD Engineering right now. outside some of the different areas and subjects that engineering works with or the topics that it deals with but yet this kind of old steam engine this wonderful beast is still what people's opinion or the image that people think of when they think of engineering and part of what we wanted to do today was just to give you a little bit of an insight and a little bit of look of some of the other projects that UCD is working on that have a real global impact and can make a difference in quite diverse areas like one of the people working here Dave McKeown who I know quite well is, is working on movement and Dave's a, effectively a rocket side as a rocket engineer we're dealing about how things vibrate how they move and now if you're able to understand that movement you can improve performance on the fly as things are moving and this can be applied to rockets but also even horse racing so there's wonderful diverse things that can come from engineering in one area that can be applied to another and some of the other areas that engineering has been applied we're going to have a little bit of a look at now so Rather than just stopping and looking at another part of a building, we thought we'd stop and actually look out one of the windows and have a look at the environment that it's, what it's like to work and study at UCD. Like it's not just about the buildings, it's about what we've constructed outside here and the place that we work. Like this wonderful lake and the art that goes around it is part of all the, the structure of what we've been constructed around UCD. And I think often that's a good analogy to how engineering is thought of, that it is just about building and constructing, but it's not just about bricks and buildings, it's about the building blocks of life. And potentially that's in a, a, a medicine capacity in the biomedical side of things. And you look at research like Madeleine Lowry, how she looks at Parkinson's disease and deep brain stimulation, that with Parkinson's people suffer from shakes. And if you have an electrode implanted into their brain, you can maybe mitigate those symptoms and have a personalised, tailored solution for those people. Another area of research that UCD Engineering is looking at is inclusive design with Elizabeth Goodman and how people with autism spectrum disorder, obesity or Alzheimer's or other things are marginalised in society and how by preventing uh, their marginalization by giving them assistive technology or products and services that have been designed in an inclusive way can make them feel more part of society and contribute more. So it's a two-way process of creating and receiving information at the same time. Now one of the things you may have noticed as we've been wandering around engineering here is pictures like this or the art pieces and them all telling a story and that's really important in engineering or science, technology, engineering, art and maths in general is the, the ability to be able to communicate the message and what it is that they're working on whether it's contaminated water or space science or whatever and one of the people here who's working on that is Barry Brophy he's in the manufacturing and materials here in UCD and what Barry does is talk about the research of actually how people understand things and how taking the art of conversation and bringing it into our research can help us convey a message and if we can get our message across maybe more people will understand and take these things on board and use them because ultimately science engineering architecture all of these things are useful they create things but they make our life easier and that's really important to understand mm -hmm. 
Just as a quick aside, and because we had been talking about things construction, it got me thinking of the UCD School of Archaeology. Now, we don't have time to go into in depth all of the things that they do in science and how they are linked to biology, chemistry, physics, and even the study of the human body, like when they look at DNA, histology, or forensic or anthropology. I wanted to have a quick look at some of the experimental archaeology that they do right here on Belfield campus. Now, if you've ever been on one of UCD's woodland walks that goes around UCD, the circuit, and goes through lots of the, the flora and fauna that we have here, you might have come past this area and wondered what it was. Well, this is the UCD Experimental Archaeology area, and it's reserved for building like old technologies, old structures, old constructions, seeing how they were put together and potentially how they fall apart. Even if you think of structures like Newgrange uh, in Meath, like that is a representation of how people thought it might be look. It's not an actual necessarily exact representation of how it is. So there is an interpretation there. But by building these structures, seeing how they fall, how they construct, how they fit together, but also how the technologies that were used to create them fitted together, we can create a more complete pack package and picture of our history. By better understanding that and our past, we might have a clearer idea of where we're going in terms of food, technology, anthropology, all of these different things. So it is a wonderful space here reserved to build stuff out in the open in a way that not many other places get to do. Engineering is universal and international. A lot of the work that happens here goes global and has a global impact. Even looking at research that Fiacre O'Loughlin is doing on large river systems in the Congo and how by understanding how they flood and move can help mitigate disasters in the future. A lot of what happens here is a good start, but you can go anywhere from here. And we'd love to hear from some of the stories from you, our global community, like if you have messages or bits and pieces that you've researched or even have you where you've gone, send them into us because we'd love to hear about you. But there's one more thing that I want to want to talk about for potentially selfish reasons. Now, my selfish reasons are I am a little bit obsessed with space. So if there's an opportunity to talk about it, I'm going to. Now, behind me is one of one of the other projects that UCD Engineering is working on with NBio, a company here, about how that you can take cow bones and coat the outside of satellites and actually use them as heat shields. So cows are in space and the closest object to the sun has a cow shield or heat shield on it. Now, this kind of thing is wonderful to me because it's using different parts of engineering, but also different technologies and different adhesion, how you stick things to it. But really what it is, is about space and a project that's happening here. It'll be the first, Ireland's first. And I have a little experiment and I'm getting a little bit giddy because I get to, I get to do a rocket launch. <laughs> We've come from engineering and like I said, we have my selfish experiment and this is actually to, to pay homage to the, the experiments that happen. Normally Tom McCormick from physics does rocket launches and we thought it would be a shame not to do it even though it's online, I want to do a rocket launch. It's one of the things I'm obsessed about. Uh, AirSat is a project with physics and engineering where they will launch Ireland's first satellite. So I thought what better opportunity or excuse potentially to launch our own rocket here. So what we have is a pump and when you pump a pump, it pumps air through the tube all the way down and eventually into this which pressurizes it. And if you have water in it and air, when this gets to such a stage, a critical stage, that this pops out, the pressure pushes the bung out, it will fly up. And because it has water for the air to push against, it should go higher. So, I mean, everything we do in the UCD Science Outreach Lab is about creating excitement and interest in science and I'm interested in launching a rocket so why not let's do it and I have safety glasses which is another great reason to do this so will we try it yes I think so so okay so as we pump air you see it traveling into the bottle it's building up in pressure we're gonna see how high we can make this go Wah! <laughs> as well as me getting soaked we've landed on top of one of the physics buildings, which is exactly where we should be. And I'll see you next time as I go searching for equipment.